students class 4 assalamu alaikum our today's lesson with your book broadway course book for class 4 is unit 2 the hummingbird who chewed bubblegum starter now the main aim of this lesson is social skills that is sharing helping others is a great thing to do you can help others in many ways such as wash the dishes and set the table at home make healthy food for a sick friend or give food and water to a hungry animal what are some ways you have helped others around you? Work in groups of three or four and discuss. Share examples with your classmates. Now let's start on page number 17. Let's start from the top. There was a little hummingbird in my neighborhood. It usually sat on my windowsill. I enjoyed hearing her song. Mujhe uska gana sunne se mein hota tha. Suddenly, I didn't see the little hummingbird for some days. About a week ago, ek hafta pehle, a bad storm, ek bura tufan aya along and blew all the worms away. I felt sorry for the hummingbird. She must have been hungry and so she must have flown away. I thought. Mene socha ki wo bhooki hogi, is liye wo kahi aur ur gai hogi. Then, one beautiful sunny morning, phir ek din, ek khubsurat subah mein, roshan subah, surat se bharpoor, the little hummingbird reappeared on my windowsill. Where have you been? I asked the little hummingbird. Just flying around, replied the little hummingbird. Did you find anything to eat? I asked. Oh, there's plenty of food. But all the twigs and straw were blown away by last week's storm, said the little hummingbird in a sad voice. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you going to do? I asked. The little hummingbird shrugged her feathers and said, I'm not sure. But I have a favor to ask of you. Sure, anything, I said. Can you please give me some bubblegum? Asked the little hummingbird. I was surprised that a hummingbird would ask for bubblegum. But I was happy to share it with my friend. The little hummingbird chewed the gumballs and then blew a bubble bigger than her body. Thanks, she said and flew away. The next morning, the little hummingbird was back. She asked for a few more pieces of bubblegum. I did not know why she wanted bubblegum, but I was happy to share it with her. She thanked me again and flew away. Two days later, it was nice and sunny. I was playing outside. Suddenly, I heard a voice calling out my name. I looked around but didn't see anyone. The voice called out my name again. This time, I realized it was coming from the oak tree in my backyard. I saw the little hummingbird up on the tree. She was sitting in a red, orange and blue nest. Let's move on to the next page. Look what you helped me build, said the little hummingbird. What do you mean, I asked. Well, there weren't any twigs or straw left after the storm. I needed something to build a nest where I could lay my eggs. Your bubble gum helped me to build this nest. Thank you very much, said the little hummingbird. I climbed up the oak tree and sure enough, there were two little eggs, the size of jelly beans, lying in the nest made of bubblegum. I said to myself, I'm so happy I shared my bubblegum with the hummingbird. She has been able to build her nest because of it. So, do remember to share your things with others. Now, teachers notice, discuss the moral of the story in the class. The moral of the story is helping others and how you can contribute in other people's lives by just giving them a little bit of support. You are supposed to underline all unfamiliar words in the passage and guess their meanings from the text, from the context. Now, we are going to take out all the hard words. I will uh, repeat them with you next in the next video. Then, we are going to write them also. Hummingbird is new word for you. Neighborhood, usually. Windowsill enjoyed hearing suddenly then it's storm blue hungry flown thought beautiful sunny morning reappeared asked flying around replied plenty twigs straw then in the next line it's shrugged feathers favor Anything, surprised, share, chewed. Let's look for wanted is another word. We can write that too. Thanked, 
you know have you noticed that all these words are in the past tense whenever you relate a story that happened a little while ago or a year ago or some years ago you always relate that story in past tense and stories or whatever lessons that we are reading are always in past tense then it's sunny outside realized backyard turning on to the next page let's look for more words mean straw needed helped climbed now in climbed b is silent enough lying shared because remember let's move on to the exercises now after the storm the little girl the girl didn't see the bird she thought the bird had died in the storm the bird had gone away in search of food the bird had gone away to another neighborhood the bird had gone away in search of food tick this the girl was annoyed when the bird asked for more bubble gum on the second day true or false false when the bird asked for bubble gum the girl was dash and was surprised and worried what the bird is going to do with bubble gum answer the following questions but all the twigs and straw were blown away by last week's storm said the little humming bird in a sad voice why was the bird sad the bird was sad because birds usually build their nests with straw and twigs and when they were blown away she was sad and she didn't know what to do and how to build up a new nest what did the bird do with the bubble gum she made her new nest with the colored bubble gum when the girl climbed up the tree what did she see in the nest two eggs did you did the girl like the company of the little bird can how can you tell give at least two examples to support your answer yeah the girl really liked now in this answer you must write the two reasons to support your answer why did the girl like the humming bird firstly uh, the humming bird sat sang a song which was sweet and the bird uh, was uh, very regular in singing it so the girl had started liking it next is the girl had become friendly with the bird and making friends was easy for the little girl with the bird and her presence made her happy there was something unusual about the nest that the girl saw what was it the unusual thing was that the nest the new nest that had been built was with the help of colored bubble gum how did she feel when she saw the nest and the eggs in it is there a link between this feeling and the last sentence of the story yes she felt very very happy because she was happy that she had shared something that had helped the little bird build up a new nest now learn words it is important to use the correct preposition about after a verb in a sentence it is also important to know when not to use a preposition let us look at a few verbs and the prepositions that go with them i felt sorry for the little bird here the preposition is the word for we feel sorry for something or somebody the word sorry has to be followed by for and not of or with we cannot therefore say I felt sorry of the bird that's wrong I felt sorry with the bird wrong prepositions are of time position time and movement position prepositions are above near time since after movement from out of let's move on to the next page can i ask for a favor we ask for a favor when we want somebody to help us here are some ways of using the word favor i have to ask you for a favor I asked a favor I asked him her a favor can I ask a favor can I ask you for a favor can you do me a favor I was happy to share it with my friend we always share something with somebody share with not share to it is wrong to say we shared the room to two friend to two other friends wrong we shared the room with two other friends take right I shared my lunch to my friend wrong I shared my lunch with my friend this is correct I was surprised by her request we are surprised by or surprised at something and not surprised with something it is wrong to say we were surprised with his behavior wrong we were surprised at his behavior complete the passage below using the words given in brackets it was friday afternoon i was about to leave for home nisar came to nisar came to me and said can i ask for a favor i was rather surprised to hear his request nisar was the brightest student in the class but for some reason he never liked me and never asked me for anything i need to complete my maths assignments i seem to have lost my book can i borrow yours he continued i felt sorry for him i gave him my book 
I was happy that I could share it with him. Read these sentences carefully. You shared your bubble gum with me so I could build this nest. In the sentence, in the second sentence, what does so do? Does it express cause or effect? Cause. It expresses the result of the action described in the first sentence. The girl shared the gu bubble gum with the bird. Effect is the bird was able to build the nest. We use so to express the effect of something and because to express the cause or reason for something. Combine these sentences using because or so. I was tired, so I went to bed early. I turned the fan on because it was very warm. She was angry at every because everyone made fun of her. Uh, it was raining heavily, so we didn't go for the picnic. No one came to meet us at the station, so we found our way home ourselves. The car stopped because there was no petrol in it. Fill in the blanks in the following paragraphs with because or so. Mrs. Sheikh was worried because Anam, her daughter, was late. She called her husband at his office. He wasn't there, so she left a message for him. Then she called Nida, Anam's classmate, because she wanted to find out if Nida had already got home. No one answered the phone at Nida's house, so she called Nida's mother on her cell phone. Nida and her mother were on, the way, on their way to hospital because Nida had had a fall on her way back from school and had hurt herself. Mrs. Sheikh was relieved to hear that Anam was with them and that Nida's injury wasn't serious. Amir was worried because he couldn't he could not find his uncle at the railway station. He waited for a while and then went and made a telephone call to his uncle's house. No one answered the call, so he called his uncle's neighbor and left a message for him. Amir was hungry, so he went to the cafeteria at the station. He wanted to eat something quickly, but he could not do so because the parathas he ordered were very hot. In the meantime, his uncle arrived and looked for him. He could not find Amir, so he decided to have an announcement made on the station loudspeaker. As he was walking to the May I Help You booth, he saw Amir walking out of the cafeteria. They went home together. Now learn to write. The following sentences make a story, but they are not in order. Rearrange them and write the story. To help you, the first and the last sentences have been indicated. A woman traveller found a precious stone in a mountain stream. 1. She met another traveller who was very hungry. The man saw the precious stone in the bag. She opened her bag to share her food with the man. He asked the woman to give it to him. The man left rejoicing on in his good fortune. She gave him the stone without any hesitation. He gave the precious stone back to her. But a few days later, he returned to the woman traveller. He said, Lady, I don't want your precious stone. What I do want from you is to learn to be truly generous. 1 and 2. She met another traveller who was very hungry. She opened her bag to share her food with him. 3. The man saw the precious stone in the bag. 4. He asked the woman to give it to him. 5. She gave him the stone without any hesitation. 6. The man left rejoicing his good fortune. 7. But a few days later he returned to the woman traveller. 8. He gave the precious stone back to her. 9. He said, Lady, I don't want your precious stone. What I do want from you is to learn to be truly generous. Learn pronunciation. These words have the sound EI as in rain in them. Read them aloud. Afraid, break, complain, famous, great, mistake, remain, strange. Read these words aloud with the stress on the capital letters. Brother, leisure, children, harbour, customer, sudden, different, village, famous, window, Favorite, wonder. The sound of the final S in these words is Z, as in zebra or buzz. Read the words aloud. Arms, because, customers, dreams, ears, friends, hands, ideas, numbers, sometimes. Break the words given above in syllables. Your teacher will demonstrate how to break a word into syllables. Use a dictionary to help you. Learn to use the dictionary. You know that words in the dictionary are arranged in alphabetical order. Given below are three rows of words in which the words are not in alphabetical order. Rearrange the words and write them in alphabetical order. This is really easy and it's a good exercise. You must do it in class with your teachers. Next is learn to speak. Sit back to back with a partner and practice this dialogue. Pay attention to the use of words such as can, cannot and may, may not in your dialogue. Good morning. May I speak to Aisha please? This is Aisha who's calling. Hi Aisha, I'm Anam. Hi Anam, I didn't recognize your voice. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, Aisha? I'm okay, thank you. Aisha, we're going on a picnic tomorrow morning. Why don't you come with us? 
I'd love to, Anam, but I have my first term test from Monday. So, I'm sorry I cannot join you. How sad. All right, maybe next time. Yes, I can come next time. Enjoy yourself, Anam. Have a good time. Thanks, Aisha. Bye for now. Bye. The words, as you know, is made up of halves and haves and have nots. The haves are lucky. They have nearly everything needed to lead a life of comfort. Shouldn't they share what they have with the less fortunate have nots? What can they share? Discuss this in groups of three or fours and then take turns to present your ideas to the rest of the class. Then it's learn to listen. Mr. Abdus Sattar Eidi was well known for his kindness to people and animals. Listen to the story about how he began helping people. Pay attention to the word sounds which are emphasized and the speaker's tone of voice while you listen. Now choose the correct answer to each question below and put a tick against it. How much money did Eidi get for his pocket money? I think two pesos. Eidi's mother taught him to be kind to everyone. What was Edie's aim in life? He wanted to help people. Re retell the story of the hummingbird in your own words to the class. This you can do in classroom and it's a very good classroom activity. I hope you've understood the entire lesson. I've done it with you. Again, we'll send another video with hard words, meanings and the sentences. Take care.